Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to JP Barbecue. Appreciate you guys tuning in today. Got a new product that I'm going to be adding to the JP Barbecue arsenal. Super excited to get this open. You know, just got me the new Rec Tech Matador portable gas cooker. I'm stoked. I'm super excited to give this thing a try. I'm going to unbox it today. I'm going to assemble it. I'm bringing you guys along. You guys stay tuned. And of course, check it out. So I've had this box here for about a week. And uh, man, I've had it out here in my carport. And these last few weeks, it has been raining. It's been raining hard. I gotta get this bad boy un unveiled, opened up, and see what it looks like. Get it assembled. There we go. See what it's all about. Yep. I think I know what that is. That looks like the, probably the lid to it. If you haven't been to Rectech's website, they got a neat website. Rectech is known more for their uh, pellet smokers and charcoal grills. And this is the first time I've seen them going into uh, this area and I'm not uh, of, of the market. And I'm not sure how long that they've had this, but I've had my eye on a fire disc or a disc type cooker because fire disc is a name brand, um, but a disc type uh portable gas cooker not portable but gas cooker uh to add to my to my arsenal here so i saw this one that they had and the price was reasonable i said okay well let me give it a try see what it's all about and uh all right. packaged packaged really nice all right that looks like some some legs right there. Some more legs. All right. So we'll put this over to the side and see if we can get the instructions out somewhere. And maybe you don't need instructions. I don't know. But I will tell you this: they, they did uh, package it really nice. So. Put that junk over there, over there. Let's see what this is. This looks like the burner. Break out my old faithful Milwaukee utility knife. Yep, that's exactly what it is. Here's the other thing I like about it. I don't know if you guys can see that. But it's got dual burners. It's got a burner on the inside and a burner on the outside. And to be truthful, I was originally in the market, you know, for a walk. And and I wanted a walk that was, you know, up high. I didn't want something down low, you know. And this was the closest thing that I could find, find to it. So, but yeah, here's the burner. Put this over here as well and keep it on top of the the foam they give you a hose to go with it all right and there's some more stuff right here get all this stuff opened up That looks like uh, uh, maybe where the burner sits on, and you can put your 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 uh, disc your, up on top. So put that over to the side. Let's see what this is. I tell you what, they do package this stuff nice. And it looks like the, uh, oh, maybe this is where the burner goes on. So we definitely want to read the instructions. Uh, there's that, all right. Tipping hazard, 
obviously got to be careful with it hot surface so we'll put that right there uh, more cardboard so here's what i wanted to look at oh, wow this is massive i don't know if you guys can see it from there but the size of this disc oh boy this is massive. Oh, see my, look at this. Look how big that is. That is, that is huge. Oh my gosh. Matador, right there on the side. Welded together. It's got some weight to it, guys. That's for sure. But this is, this is what I was interested in. I was interested in uh, some kind of a walk and I saw several of them out there. And then I ran into uh, uh, somebody's YouTube channel that they were showing this off. And I was like, man, that is not bad. For the price, you know, I went ahead and got me one. But uh, so far, I haven't seen the instructions. Let me put this over here somewhere. Let's see if we can start assembling this bad boy. Oh, there's uh, stuff in the bottom. All right, cool. Oh, look at this. Oh, that's right. This was the other thing that I liked about it. They give you accessories. So, uh, looks like it'll they work. They don't. They feel lightweight. Hate to say this, the the. Uh, they feel kind of. Uh, and it looks like they'll do the job, but I hate to say this, but it feels kind of cheap metal, very lightweight, but they may do okay. You know, we'll see how it goes. Let me put these over here, but they are included in the, you know, in the package. Got a handle for the lid and this looks like uh, it, it goes to this looks like a regulator or something for the gas so this that goes on the burner so where are the instructions oh hold on a second here they go i think this is it Nope, not, they're not instructions. Your manual where you need it. Oh, check this out. Simply take a picture of the QR code with your phone and you can access the interactive digital um, manual. So the no manual comes with it. Scan the QR code and you can get to it, um, you know, uh, straight from there. So let me do that real quick. So I, I kind of like that, you know, because saves on paper. So here we go. Open those legs. Open these legs and it looks like these uh, got little uh, pins right here that you just line up. There we go. And that's the, that's how they, that's how they hold up, I guess. So there's that. All right, so let me give you guys an update so far where we're at. Uh, once I got these two pins locked into place, there is, uh, and once you slide them into place, I don't know if you guys can see that, but right there, there is a couple of, let me zoom in. There's a couple of like, um, I don't know what they're called, little C crimps or something like that. You know, that way it doesn't slide back out. So you get those in and uh, you're good to go and all i did was just use the uh, little pliers and just tap them in so that goes in like that let me zoom this back out so then you got this uh 
I'm not sure what they call it, the wind guard, I believe. This will slide in right on the top. And I don't know if you guys can see that, but right here, it's got these little inserts that will go right inside these little holes that are on top of the, the legs. So we'll get those lined up. In there and then you almost need like four hands for it so that's in there and i guess that works pretty good that way you can just pop it right back off but that's all it is that's all that holds it in place is uh those little inserts in there so the next thing to go in i believe is where the burner or part of the burner assembly uh, is going to mount so that goes right th there right there in the middle got this little wing nut and that screws down holds it in place all right so that's there and that kind of locks those legs in a little tighter too and it's got uh little levelers leg levelers down here on the bottom so you can slide it you know up and down so that way you can get it on a nice balance uh, that way your grill is nice and balanced so let's see what's next all right i'm gonna have to read the instructions for this and see if it goes on the top or on the bottom it probably goes like that not sure let me let me read up on it so as far as I can tell, the instructions aren't too clear in regards to how to put these, uh, uh, the, the center section, the burner with this uh, plate right here. Um, or, or maybe it's just my fault. Maybe I'm just used to those Ikea type uh, instructions. But here's the best thing that I could do. Or maybe I just can't read the directions. I don't know. Or maybe they're just not that good. So I went ahead and took this off. Uh, off the plate over there off of the off of the legs and I went ahead and started assembling uh, This bad boy because it had screws right here and screws over here in here like that Got that tightened down and then over on this side uh, I'm not sure if you guys can see that uh right there in the middle there's this hose it came with these longer screws i believe these are stainless steel screws so we'll put them right there and now we can start assembling this piece because it'll be a whole lot easier to work with it up here than it is uh having it inside the the leg so i'll get this screws bolted down and uh, you guys can see that there's a screw right there uh, so that's that first one and i'll get the other side done as well so just give me a give me a second maybe a lot easier like that oh, don't lose my screwdriver Yeah, if you got big hands, this could be a somewhat of a challenge. And then we'll get that bad boy screwed down. All right, so it's just a matter of tightening it down now. So I'll hold the nut on the back side with my channel locks. And like I said, maybe it's just me, but I can see how to do this anywhere in the instructions. But nice thing is I am mechanically inclined then I can figure it out and get that tightened down get this one tightened down and that's it we have the burner assembly uh, put together so now it's a lot easier because all it is is just just a, uh, a wing type bolt that goes here and mounts in the middle so let's go ahead and go put that on so it's got this wing nut right there. And then the gas burner sits right on top. You wanna make sure it's nice and centered. And now you can go ahead and 
get her tightened down. That's it. I don't think it needs to be super tight. So here's what I like about it. It actually has two places, uh, you know, to, to put, you know, different type skillets. I can use it with, with uh, the disc that comes with it, or I can use it with just a conventional uh, skillet. You know, that works pretty good. And I don't necessarily need this wing guard on here. I can take this wing guard off and uh, use it like that. So that works pretty good. Gotta get it balanced, of course, anywhere you're gonna use it, because obviously being this high and you're cooking, you wanna be careful with it tipping over. But so far, so good. Let me get this bad boy back on there. So I guess what's left is to go ahead and install the regulator. And this regulator here is uh, spring-loaded. So it's got like a little spring in it. That way uh, gasket seals in on it, tightens up. And I guess that's really all it needs is that. Maybe hand tighten or maybe just a little turn here with that. That should be it. So the nice thing about this is I can use a small propane bottle with it, or I can use the attachment holes and tie into my uh, 20 gallon propane tank, you know, that I normally have. So uh, probably pretty cool. Not probably, but it is pretty cool because you can use this or you can use a small little uh, propane bottle. So I will probably use uh, my 20 gallon so that wasn't too bad. And yeah, that's it. The matter, the Rectech Matador. We put this, oh, I'm not done yet. I gotta put this uh, disc on here. And then I gotta put the lid on it because it comes, it's got a lid. That's the other thing I liked about this was it came with a lid. Some of these other ones that are in the market all these other things they charge you a you know they nickel and dime you for everything reg tech right here has made it all part of the uh, the package which is what i like so, nice lid oh man i like that where's the handle at we'll put this handle on so let's get this handle that's got somewhat of a cool touch on cool touch handle on it And that's all it is, is just two screws that hold it in place. It's got a fender washer and a lock washer right there. Just put the screw through the hole and tighten her down. That's the other thing I liked about this uh, type of a disc. It's got a lid. So whenever you're not using it, or if you are using it and you got stuff on the inside and you're cooking with it, you know, you can, you can cook with a lid. Man, I really like that. That is really, really nice. Rectic Matador, guys. So the one thing that it does not come with, uh, it's a cover, but as you can see, let me tell you, that those leg balancing things down there, Oh my gosh, I love them. It took me two seconds to get this thing leveled out, you know, and the size of this disc, it's got, man, it's 20, it's, I think it's 22 inches. It comes with a lid, and it also comes with, you know, these two accessories. Uh, so, uh, oh, I didn't show you guys this, but I take it that this is probably uh, to, to hang the tools on the outside. So, you know, you should probably set them right there like that. And voila, you got you got a little rack for hanging, you know, your utensils. So like I said, uh, it does not come with a cover. 
it would be let me tell you you guys over at reg tech it would be badass if you guys make a nice cover for it uh that has the reg tech matador uh logo on it so but what i did i went ahead and got me one off of amazon and i'm gonna put this down in the description if you're interested in getting you one of these i will tell you right now this is i have i did not see this available on amazon so i have to buy this directly from their website from rectex website and obviously this is not a sponsored video i paid my i paid my own cash for it but i wanted something like this so i can do some uh, outdoor cooking some outdoor fried rice or something in that manner and plus guys just you know look at it it looks it looks badass you know i love it let's see if this cover uh will fit on it nice durable cover and if you're interested in the price, guys, uh, just go out to their website, regtech.com. I uh, honestly, off the top of my head, I paid like $2.99 for it. So it's, 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 it's fairly affordable compared to a lot of the other ones that are out there in the market. So let's see if this bad boy is gonna fit on it. Oh yeah, and, he, and this is, this ain't cheap either. This is nice and heavy duty. So. Yeah, that, that worked perfect. Ah. Uh, this is a 30 by 36, I believe, is what I bought. Yeah, 30 inch diameter. And it fits it all the way flush to the ground. So it's, it's almost made ideal. But if, if Rectech could make one of these and put the logo on it, you know, that would be sweet. Got two little handles right here. Wanna start cooking. There we go. Put that over there, plug in your bottle, and uh, get this bad boy uh, seasoned up and ready to cook. If you're interested in any of the products that I have on my website, I'll put a link for it right here. It'll pop up right there, and it'll be down in the description as well, guys. jpbarbecue.com is where I sell my products help supports this channel. You guys go out, check out the website. One of my thoughts on this Rectech, um, not grill, Rectech Matador uh, gas uh, grill. First looks, you know, it's impressive. You know, it's, it's not made cheaply, except for their spoons and stuff like that. But, you know, these do feel cheap, so I may, re may replace these. But for the price, you know, it's, it's, it's a good deal. Um, I'm going to fire it up probably in the upcoming weeks and maybe get it seasoned up. And, uh, but first impressions, it is sweet. It is very, very, uh, nice. I like the idea that it's got two burners on. It's got an inner burner and, out, and an out burner. So, um, you know, you can get it, you know, pretty hot. I think the BTUs on it was like 20,000. So you can really pump out some heat with this bad boy. Uh, the levelers on it, that's sweet, man. It took me two seconds to get this leveled out. Um, the instructions as far as assembling, the, you know, the only downfall I could see as, as, you know, from my perspective is the assembly instructions for the gas burner assembly you know I, I, either i can't read or i can't see it how it's done inside of the the instruction manual uh they do make it pretty easy to get the manual offline uh so if you're out in the woods and you got no wi-fi or you got no cell signal you're not gonna be able to get the manual so get the manual before you take it outdoors you know out in the woods or something uh but again it, it really wasn't that difficult assembling it um the 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 assembly instructions for the burner like i said they could be a little bit more can i say a little bit more clearer and ideal in regards to assembling it but you know still it's you know for your average guy 
you know, it's, it's not, he shouldn't have a, you shouldn't have a problem putting it together okay um but besides that that's it that's my matador uh my rec tech matador grill guys uh I, I will bring you some cooks in the upcoming weeks using this bad boy but besides that we're done i love you guys i will talk to you guys later and i will see you on the next one you guys take care